So we're talking to the producers of Trouble Times 3, John and Jessica. So what's it actually been like working on the show and working with the cast and crew? Yeah, it's, I, I really enjoy it. It's fun. Like, it's, you know, we're still kind of young, so we're learning a lot. Um, and, but it's just very exciting. Um, we have a really enthusiastic crew. Like, it's really nice when you're working where everybody's really hyped by the project. You know, when there's a nice atmosphere on set, it just makes everything so much easier. Everything, you don't get as tired as well. I know we look tired, but you don't get as tired as you would be when everybody's really into the project. So I know today that you're actually filming episode three. Um, so, so far, across the whole series, what's been your favourite sort of, uh, part of it to work on? You know, your favourite scene? I enjoyed, I think I enjoyed shooting in the uh, nightclub a lot. Yeah. It was a bit of a kick um, because we were shooting obviously earlier on. It was Dairy's nightclub. Um, the and junction, yeah. The morning. junction's there. And we were shooting there in the morning, but then we came back when it was full up. Later on at like 1 o'clock in the morning, it was after a whole day of shooting. And it was kind of fun to just to shoot around all these all really the drunk people <laughs> <laughs> like putting ourselves you know we've been shooting from like early that morning nine or eight or nine that morning and this is cut to like midnight and we're surrounded by all these really drunk people and we're kind of tired and immediately we're hyped again and it's great we had her up in a bar and just going around lying to all the authority figures. Oh, that, that guy over there told me that we could do it don't worry about it it's grand no no that guy over there it's grand <laughs> But then, then we just we, we really pushed our luck. But it was great. It was fantastic. You know, we got the we got the shots and and it looked really good. <laughs> it looked great. So it's pretty exciting. So if people want to find out more about Trouble Times Three, what's the best place for them to go and find out more? I suppose the, to watch, go to YouTube, type in Trouble Times Three, watch the episodes. That's what it really all comes down to. Just being, you know, watching the watching the show itself. Yeah, if you go to the RTE website as well, it's all on the. Um, RTE.ie forward slash Storyland. Um, you can see Trouble Times 3 and you can see the competition as well. Because, you know, we don't really view it as a competition. We're all looking for funding from RTE. It's all great that we get it. Um, if you could take the competition element out of it, we'd absolutely love it. I feel like making a really sort of big contest. It should be kind of about a community, and any time you kind of marry a competition to it, it's, it doesn't, I don't know how. Like, on one hand, it's you know, right here to market and stuff like that, but I don't know if filmmaking should be a contest, it shouldn't be a competition, it should be. I think, especially low budget filmmaking, everybody has to help each other out. So, if somebody from one of the other crew brings up and they need something, mm -hmm. we'd be happy to oblige and vice versa. You know, you get chatting to the people you're running against, and it doesn't really feel, I don't know, maybe marketing week it does, but the rest of the time it doesn't really feel like it's a cutthroat competition. Yeah, we should point out, though, that we are, of the four storylines that are left in the competition, we are producing three of them because we're show-offs and we're insecure and we show off at every opportunity. Yeah, we've got phenomenal, um, I'd say good luck, but yes. we've been working very hard and out of the eight projects in the original competition we've been producing three and we've been, our projects have been good enough that we've gotten three of them into the semi-final. Yeah. So three or four, the odds are good. We, had the, we, we just came from the weekend to Saturday and Sunday of shooting Hysteria and the Big Rogers and now we came straight up to Monaghan to shoot Trouble Times 3. So it's the fourth day of four very long days for us. <laughs> Hence the faces. <laughs> yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with my face. It's wow. pretty impressive, but like, it um, held up pretty well. But um, so yeah, no, it's good. It's great. Like, I'm looking forward to having a big fat nap tomorrow. But yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, John and, and Jessica, for talking to, to us today, and hopefully we'll see you for uh, episode four of Trouble Times Three. Yeah, brilliant. brilliant. Thanks for having Thanks so much. This is Scotty. He was the love of my life until I found out he was three-timing me. But then his flatmate had the idea that we all pretend we're pregnant at once. Man, that girl's one crazy-ass bitch. I'm pregnant, by the way. So we all tell him, and he completely freaks out. But it doesn't stop there. Oh no, we're just getting started. He hasn't learned his lesson. We need to really f*** with him.